Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a 12 by 12 inch canvas and I put my glasses down right over here and I will put them on immediately for you. And I have some leftover colors in a dish. It probably would have been okay to use for my edges, but I want to put that in the bucket. And I want to play with odd combinations. So I'm going to use some Anita's White Metallic. It has a background for maybe maybe a critter. We'll see what happens when I pour my leftovers. Let's do a little bit more of that and see if I can take that thing out of there. In spite of all the paint on my tweezers, they soak off really well. Some of that there. Loving those cells. I could just put some gold in there and be pretty happy. Speaking of gold, I might put some right in my my cup. So there's a painting. <laughs> All done. I know, I like saying that. I'm just going to wipe my spatula off down the edge of my canvas on one side. Throw it in the bucket. Grab my somewhat fugly leftover colors and throw some gold in there and some orange in there and I guess, oh, I wasn't going to put red in there, but I am now. I'm going to grab a funnel if I can. There we go. It's stuck. <laughs> of course it is. And um, give myself a little bit of color there. I saw there was canvas showing. Whoops, that was my head. Sorry. All I did was add a little black. I'm having a head in the camera kind of day today. <laughs> so please bear with me. I'll try and stay out of there. So I'm going to do, I'm going to give myself a little bit of black enamel right in the center. pour my colors into. That's probably way too much paint. And in spite of that, I'm going to put a little bit of Venetian blue in there. If it doesn't look like a creature, then it'll look like something interesting that isn't. <laughs> which is probably more likely what's happening. I had thought I would do a creature, but instead I'm just going to do what I'm doing. And that won't go in there, so I'll turn it upside down and let it drain. I still have leftover colors, of course I do! But I have an interesting background. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. And I see that thing that's rather large. Come out thing. I kind of want to just keep it right how it is. I think I'm going to do what I like to do lately, which is something everybody should probably do. Hit, hit your fresh puddle pour with some torch to release the cells. Now, question is, what can I do with this? I've got a leg down here. I've got no tail. Let's say make a tail. <laughs> I'm still looking at it like it might be a beast. But I've got some great cells, so maybe I won't do anything like that. And I've got some more paint, which means I can add to my canvas. So maybe I'll just keep letting it flow around. I liked it better in the beginning so far. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to take well, I would have if it were open. Whoops. <laughs> Take some of that orange.
and I'm contemplating that blue. I don't know why. Put some of that right in that cup. Add a little bit of white pearl to it. That's a white metallic from Anita's I keep calling pearl. No idea what could happen here, but I do know. be better if I lowered the heat on my torch. I'm not finding the color I'm after yet. And I have been just airbrushing things, so maybe I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I'm in the mood. can't say I think of this as pretty yet, at all. I actually like the way it started a lot better than what I've got. But it doesn't matter because I don't give up easily. And it could change in a heartbeat. And I'm being called to Prussian Blue or Dark Purple. And I'm right now I'm hating it a lot less than I was a moment ago just because I pictured those colors and they worked out well in my head. <laughs> and maybe some more gold. Just a few smears of my basting brush. Excuse me. Ha! It's a spatula. Wow. I'm having a day. <laughs> I don't often have them like this bad, but this is a day. And I'm going to give myself... I'm still painting, but I'm having a day. I'm really interested in some chain, but I haven't done it in a long time. I want to take, at the very least, the dull end of a skewer and play with my dollops because I've been thinking about it for a long time and I haven't done it. And I'm going to need another one of each of those because they're an even number and I'm not the only person who has a problem with that, I'm pretty sure. Let's give one more. Let's give a few more. I need another one. I will be covering my edges with my leftover paint again better. So that's okay. And uh, I might want some turquoise for whatever reason. Just because it sounds good to me right now.
drag a few waggles. It's an alien plant form. I am not sure about this at all. Don't ask me. It actually helped more than I was. I thought it might hurt, but it's actually kind of cool. That time I got it right. I'm still right under the camera. I'm going to have to figure something out. Well, I like the spirals I have over here so much, I think I'm just going to give myself permission to make some really big ones. Because I don't usually give myself permission to make really big ones. And the timing seems perfect. Not sure about that one though. I think I want that one to be a little smaller. I'll let them all be a little more connected too. And am I done? Not sure. Yep, I think there's going to be a few pulls. A little wrecking. That's different and better than it was a minute ago. I am still going to let it all have a little bit of a meld. For declaring that I might need one more little thing in there. And do I want to risk it? Came a lot more subtle after that, but I like it. Okay, so I have over 90,000 subscribers, and if you're one of them, thank you. And uh, if you're new, please be welcomed. I love you all. <laughs> please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind liking my videos. It helps me out. Your comments help me out immensely. Those of you who leave me wonderful comments, you make my day. You improve my morale. You help immensely. So. Um, I have over 1,500 videos on my end screens. I'm going to just touch up my edges while I talk to you for a second. And uh, you can find them on Creative Playlists, all playlists. Should you happen to be looking for them, they're organized by genre and by the hundred. 15, 16 lists. I just got into the 1600s, like yesterday. I have Teespring clothing below the video. That has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I think I'm going to wait and finish that with black. Tell you guys, thank you for the thumbs up. If I said that, forgive me. My email address is below the link tree that's underneath the video that has the Instagram, Twitter, 
and Pinterest links, as well as Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, and you can see tomorrow's video there most days. You can also see tomorrow's vid video on my YouTube channel, uh, Community Board. You can find my Teespring store on my YouTube channel. You can find Volume 1 and Volume 2 of my books, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities, on the Amazon link that's on the link tree. That's below the video. Underneath the link tree link, there is an email address. I do sell my artwork, and I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. So if you have an interest in either one of those things, feel free. It's not open. <laughs> feel free to give me, drop me a line. I'm just going to run a bead of that right down the edge because it's bothering me. Thank you guys for joining me, and um, if there's anything else I forgot, and I'm sure there is, oh, there's also a, uh, a monthly drawing, and if you want to be in the drawing, anybody who contributes through PayPal or Patreon to help keep me making videos, and thank you to everybody who has, can see the exhibition video on the end screens of any video in the last 20 seconds. You will see whatever is included for prizes along with the rest of the videos from the previous month, and you might enjoy that. I'm looking to see if there's anything else I need to change. And that was it. And I'm going to zoom in. Especially here, those cells are awesome. Not bad for leftovers. Oh, it wasn't even in frame. Wow. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. Let's zoom all the way in. Hopefully you can see that. This is, as I may have said, Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Bye for now. I'll see you and on. Priscilla out.